Hi guys, so Boris Johnson and his government are in a bit of a tight spot. He's been trying to claim a number of things. First, that the UK is welcoming when it comes to refugees, which is clearly not the case. Just 50 have been let in on the family visa scheme. Then there are the sanctions. Boris Johnson's government has claimed that they are leading on imposing sanctions when in reality over a dozen individuals have seen action taken against them, while in Europe it's 450. Then there are the money and connections. While some people have been sanctioned, the Tories are doing the most they can to protect people who have donated to the party. This brings us to Lord Lebedev. Now, according to Wikipedia, he has maintained a relationship with Boris Johnson since the late 2000s, with Lebedev's Evening Standard going all out in support of Johnson as Mayor of London. Johnson has been reported to have attended vodka and caviar parties hosted by Lebedev in the UK and in Italy throughout the 2010s. The relationship caused concern in the UK security circles, who assessed both Johnson and Lebedev as security risks. According to Byline Times, the evaluation of Lebedev as a security risk changed in June 2020, the decision allegedly having been pushed through by the Cabinet Office. In July 2020, he was nominated for a life peerage by Prime Minister Boris Johnson in the 2020's political honours. The Guardian calling his a surprise name among the 36 life peerage nominations, which have led to accusations of cronyism against the Prime Minister. Here Johnson tried to distract and suggest that going after individuals who have donated to the party or even the Prime Minister somehow helps the Russian regime or distract from the work that's been done intervene to secure Egmony Lebedev a peerage when you discovered the security service, services thought he posed a national security threat? Uh, that is uh, simply incorrect. But what I can tell you is that... So you didn't intervene? What I can tell you is that it suits uh, Putin's agenda to try to characterise uh, this as a, uh, a struggle between the West and, and Russia. And it suits his agenda to say that... Uh, the UK, that uh, we in the we in the, uh, in NATO countries are, are, are anti-Russian, or European countries are are now anti-Russian. There's nothing anti-Russian about rejecting money from billionaires or multimillionaires. Uh, you're not supposed to be taking money. You, your party is not supposed to be on the take here. You attended these parties. There, is, there are images of Boris Johnson, I think in the airport, in the Italian airport, I don't remember which one it was, um, looking, <laughs> looking quite rough actually after a rough night of drinking because he had attended one of these parties. Look, there is deep corruption here. And Johnson, of course, is, a trying, is trying to distract, saying, look, look, by investigating our corruption, you're only helping Putin. And it's very, very, very important that we get the message over that we're not anti-Russian. We're not against Russians. Uh, we're simply, we, our quarrel is simply with the, with the regime and the aggression of Vladimir Putin. Of course. And what about the members of that regime that have donated to your party? If the security services deemed him a, a risk and you intervened to give him a peerage... Well, that would obviously be extraordinary, but that's, that's so not So you the case. did not do that? No, of course not. Did you meet with him in March 2020 at the... But you did give him a peerage. He was deemed a security threat. Now, what happened is he was deemed a security threat. The Cabinet Office put pressure on the security services to remove this security threat and then... Coincidentally, he was given a life peerage. Isn't that interesting? Hide to the pandemic to discuss giving him a peerage. Listen, uh, it is very, very important. That did, did you meet? It is very, Prime very. Uh, it, it is very, very important that the uh, this should not turn into a general uh, sense that we're against Russians. Uh, any Russian living in the in the UK, any Russian who contributes to uh, UK society should suddenly be un... <laughs> contributes to UK society. <laughs> that is not a lovely way to describe corruption. It's not corruption, it's contributing to UK society. <laughs> Giving donations, hundreds of thousands of pounds in some cases, uh, to the Conservative Party is contributing to society.
What, what a beautiful way to describe corruption. And, uh, uh, suspicion uh, that is that suits Putin's agenda. He's going to want to frame this as a conflict between Russia and the West. This is this is about the Ukrainian people, their struggle. You're a disgusting individual, Boris Johnson. You're trying to distract, trying to say, look, stop focusing on our corruption. This is a battle between Ukraine and and Russia. Um, look, the fact that. People connected to Putin have given us money. It, it, stop focusing on that. Uh, that's what Putin wants. <laughs> um, this undermines your position. You were you were a security threat. Your friend was a security threat, and it seems pressure was applied by the cabinet office to the security services to remove that as remove him as a threat. And then what happened immediately after? He was sent to the House of Lords by Boris Johnson. And of course, Boris Johnson is trying to say, let's not focus on that. Against a, a murderous attack on their liberty and a murderous and, and a violent attack on cities in Ukraine that have done absolutely nothing to deserve it. And we must not play Putin's game. There's a reason why there is concern in Europe and the United States about Boris Johnson's relationship to uh, certain individuals. Boris Johnson has been described as a security threat by the United States. I don't know what the current feeling is on that, but until recently he was described as a security threat. So it's not just the UK security services, but it's also foreign security services have viewed Boris Johnson as a security threat. And what we're not supposed to do is focus on that. We're supposed to focus on uh, how calling that out is somehow anti-Russian. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.